my topic is kind of close to my heart. I guess it, um, it started from where I was born. Um, I was born in an area of armed conflict. I was born in Medellin, Colombia, when Pablo Escobar was there. So um, during my childhood, I saw a lot of violence, a lot of um, gruesome, gruesome violence um, every day. So walking to school, we would see dead bodies and things like that. Um, I left at the age of 10 and relocated to uh, North Jersey. So um, coming to such a different environment, uh, for me, I always felt really different from the other kids and um, always wanted to understand that. And I think that's where my passion for criminal justice and psychology comes in. And um, even after getting my master's, I didn't feel that I had that answer yet um, until I came to Widener and took Hal Shorey's uh, attachment theory class and that really clicked for me. Now attachment styles form in childhood so you can understand based on someone's childhood and their parenting environment how they're going to turn out as adults. This is a pretty good concordance like a 65 to 70 percent concordance. So in that attachment theory class Paul was able to see wow, this theory applies to understanding how people tick and how they interact, even in a prison system. And so she thought, wow, um, it'll be really informative to, to look at how people turn out in a war zone. Because theoretically, when people are subjected to threat and their what we call a secure base is challenged, right? There's nowhere for them to go and it's hard to develop a uh, healthy mental health uh, perspective. The spark for me was that um, it really talked about your relationship with your parents and how the environment is so important in fostering that secure attachment. Um, for me, I had very supportive family, but the environment was very chaotic. So bridging those two together, attachment theory really answered the question of how the environment um, affected me and how it affected the way that I relate to other people, the way that I see myself, the way that I see the world. So in that, I wanted to see if, if attachment patterns differed in areas of armed conflict, um, which for me, it made sense that they would. So. From there, I went into looking at the research that was done and, and whether it applied to the areas that I was looking for and the research was really focusing on uh, families post-war or um, families that were um, in some tough environments but not really the same type of environment where you see death every day or where you're a refugee and you've been displaced from your home. So that's where I really saw that hole in the research. And then, um, so my, my dissertation concluded in that research needs to be done using attachment theory in, in areas experiencing active war and, and armed conflict. If the family remains intact, no matter what the external environment is, can this child still uh, develop a secure attachment? And if that's the case, that's huge for uh, public policy as far as inner city uh, environments and uh, helping parents raise their children which means an intact family unit uh, would be more important actually than controlling the external environment as, turning, as far as turning out mentally healthy, well-adjusted children.